In this video, I'm gonna show you something you must understand if you wanna become a blockchain developer, okay? You can learn all these programming languages and build your own apps, but if you don't have this one piece of understanding, you're probably not gonna get very far in blockchain, okay? So that's okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is in this video and how you can learn it. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University, and on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you want to master blockchain from start to finish, step by step, I can show you how to do exactly that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. So what is this one essential thing that you have to understand if you want to become a blockchain developer? All right. Well, it's an understanding of finance. So why? Well, blockchain is incredibly disruptive and it's mostly disrupting the financial industry. All right. That's one of the biggest use cases for blockchain technology right now. And if you don't understand finance, like it's going to be hard for you to be a really effective blockchain developer. And you need to understand the kinds of problems that you're writing code to solve. All right, so I'm going to show you how to learn these essential topics in this video. And before, you know, you get too overwhelmed and say, oh, I have to learn all of this, all of that, and then also master, you know, finance. It's okay. Like, I'll say, like, when I got into blockchain, you know, initially as a developer, I didn't have a strong understanding of all these things, right? But I learned a lot of them as I went along, and I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that in this video. Okay, I'll show you where to start, some exact tutorials to follow step by step, and then also some projects that you can use uh, to get a better understanding of finance. And the other thing I would say is, yeah, I know it's difficult, it's challenging, but there's so much upside to learning this information, okay? You can build your own cryptocurrency, create your own exchange, get a really high paying job. The possibilities are basically endless. And if you learn them now, you'll be so ahead of everyone else uh, who wants to get into this industry when they realize how much it has been disrupted and how much opportunity there is for blockchain developers. And also that means it's a good thing that it's hard, okay? Because if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't necessarily be as rewarding as it is is right now. So hard is almost proof that there's a good reason to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'll show you everything that you need to know. All right, so let me show you how you can learn finance from blockchain. We're going to start with the very basics, all right? And I'm going to show you some tutorials that will teach you these that I've created. And then we'll go to a little bit more advanced and I'll introduce you to some real world projects uh, that are implementing this kind of thing. And you can go use these and, uh, you know, learn about the concepts that I'm teaching in this video and also go see what people are actually doing with blockchain technology right now, all right? Because people ask me all the time, hey, what are people using for the blockchain for? What are some examples of real world blockchain applications? Well, that's what you're going to see in this video. So let's start with the basics. Like, how does money work? Well, that's what I've got pulled up here on my computer is a tutorial that I created called Code Your Own Cryptocurrency on Ethereum. Okay. So in this tutorial, I show you how to build your own cryptocurrency, launch it, and also create an ICO to raise money for your own project by giving people this uh, cryptocurrency in exchange for a different one. Okay. So by following this, you'll get the basics of how money works, all right? How you can actually write smart contracts or just programs that run on the blockchain that govern money. So they keep track of things like, you know, a user's balance, the user's account, and it lets them actually transfer funds from one account to another. That's basically what a currency is. It just keeps track of how much somebody has and how, you know, you can move those funds around. And we do this on Ethereum with smart contracts with tokens that are powered by the ERC-20 standard. That's exactly what I show you how to build is an ERC-20 token inside this tutorial. So the next tutorial that I would highly recommend is this one. All right, this is actually pretty recent. This is one uh, where we create an app that lets you just swap cryptocurrencies, all right? You just put in the amount of the cryptocurrency you wanna buy, tell the cryptocurrency you wanna sell, and it just trades the two instantly at a fixed price. You can actually see a demo of the app here on my screen, and this is inspired by uh, you know, a real-world app like Uniswap, for example. So if you've ever heard of Uniswap, or if you haven't, that's okay. Basically, this is an app where you just go tell it the cryptocurrency that you have and which cryptocurrency you want to buy, and it just swaps it to you instantly. You don't have to go open an order on an exchange or anything like that. You don't have to do a buy it order or a limit order or anything like that. So those are two different tutorials that will show you the basics. You know, first, how money works, you know, how it works on the blockchain, and then also how to just swap two different currencies, right, in that second tutorial. So if you want something more advanced than that, or you just want to skip past all that and just get the start 
to finish plan. Like you want to go from knowing nothing to learning about finance, learning about cryptocurrencies, and then building like a real world project, like a real world exchange. Then uh, I can show you to do that exactly inside my blockchain developer bootcamp, right? Inside there, I show you how to build a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. You know, we start with the basics, teach you how blockchain works, teach you the basic fundamental programming languages. And then you go on to build a real world financial use case like this. All right. So all those are definitely foundational concepts to understand. And, you know, when you're building financial applications, you're going to run into all these other terms that you may not understand. All right. So it helps just kind of like looking these up, clarifying them and seeing how they're used um, so that you can have a better understanding of them. Because like I said, you need to understand the problems that you're writing the code to solve. You're going to see words like interest, savings rate, uh, debt, loan, collateral, liquidity, market maker, buy order, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And, you know, if you're just starting out, you may not understand what these are. Like I said, I didn't understand some of these when I first became a blockchain developer, but I learned them uh, because I was trying to understand the use cases of the technology that I was building. And I highly recommend you do the same because like I said, there's so much upside to knowing these types of things. Well, what's the best way to learn these? Well, uh, in my opinion, the best way to learn them is just by experiencing them, right? You can go look up these vocabulary words yourself, or you could just see what they do, right? You can go look at a real world project that, that does something like implement an interest rate, implement collateral, implement debt, savings rate, and then just observe what the app does. And that's going to illuminate the concept in your mind way more than like a definition would if you were just looking it up for a vocabulary test or something like that. So let's look at a couple of projects that implement these features. Um, and like I said, you'll get exposure to brand new blockchain projects that are actually being used in the real world. And you'll see some of these concepts in action. Okay. So let's talk about interest. So one app that is really uh, cool about this is Compound Finance. Okay. So what does it do? Well, basically it allows you to uh, lock up cryptocurrencies into smart contracts and earn interest on them. So interest is basically like you giving someone money and then paying you small amounts of money over time. All right. And you can just see how it works. You can see that if you give this uh, app uh, Ether, you'll earn this much interest annually, right? It's kind of low right now. And these interest rates go up and down. They're variable interest rates. Right? That's another term to understand. But that's how it works. So basically, uh, you can do it with DAI, which is a stable cryptocurrency, for example. If you give it DAI, you'll earn a 0.73% uh, sorry yield. That's how interest works. You just give it money and it gives you a little more money over time. But how does interest really work? Like, why would they just give you more money if you gave them your money? Well, it's because they lend it on the other side. Okay. And that's how banks do this, right? So if you give a traditional bank money, they give you a very small amount of interest. That's because they use your money and they lend it out to other people and it makes them money and then they can pay you a small amount of that. So that's what compound finance basically does. They uh, have loans on the other side of these things, right? And so people can come borrow money from compound finance to get a different cryptocurrency, but they do it with a collateralized loan, which basically means you give them one cryptocurrency and you borrow a different one. Okay. That's what collateral is here. And then also debt. All right. So in this case, the collateral position is bigger than the de debt position, which basically means you have to give them more of a cryptocurrency than you're borrowing. Because if you just don't pay it back, they need to have collateral. So why would you want to do something like that? People ask, well, that's what traders use it for. They, do, they do it for like shorting assets or there's going long or short on trades. There's lots of more advanced concepts uh, at play there, but that's the basics, right? And that's, that's how you learn some of these concepts is just go by looking at the app, understanding what does it do, and that will clarify some of these concepts in your mind. So a lot of these concepts, like I said, exist in the legacy financial system and they're just ported over to the blockchain in these like DeFi or OpenFi apps, okay? So next, let's look at uh, a decentralized exchange like Radar Relay, for example. So why is it important to look at an app like this? Well, fundamentally, you'll understand how an exchange works. You'll understand like things like uh, limit orders, like what is a limit order when you put in you know, an amount that you want to uh, buy or sell? Like what does that mean? What is a limit price? What is a maker? What is a taker? What is an order book? How do you use an order book? There, there's so many concepts, but you can learn them all just by like, going to this exchange and trying to use it, all right? So, you know, before I continue on with this, let me always, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go invest in cryptocurrency and get wrecked. But what I am saying is you could get a really small amount of cryptocurrency and just experiment with this. Like literally you can make $1 trades on here and you would learn how it works. So consider $1 the price of an education. Okay. You could even hold it in a stable cryptocurrency like DAI, for example, and the value wouldn't change. And you could just trade it for a different stable currency as well. And you could just understand how do you open an order? How do you fill an order? What is this candle chart over here and all that kind of stuff? 
And so by using a decentralized exchange like that, you'll knock out all of these other terms like, you know, liquidity, market maker, buy order, sell order, you know, arbitrage, maker, taker, all that kind of stuff. So uh, again, this is another use case that exists in the real world that's, you know, taken and moved over to the blockchain and that gives you a big advantage. So what's the big advantage of using the blockchain for this? Well, it's trustless trading. The funds, they don't leave your wallet until the trade happens. Okay. So if you think about a centralized cryptocurrency exchange, I mean, like Binance or Coinbase, for example, your funds live on those exchanges until you withdraw them. Okay. Now I'm not necessarily making a value judgment on Binance or uh, Coinbase at all. I'm not saying one is necessarily better than the other, but I am telling you uh, advantages and disadvantages of each implementation. The last thing I want to talk about is a lot of the DeFi projects are taking existing financial products and moving them over to the blockchain. You know, like I showed you this exchange, for example, savings and loans with like compound finance, for example. But also really cool thing about DeFi is it is creating... Um, new concepts that don't really exist in the real world yet. Do things you can do with finance that, you know, there are really no true analogies for in the real world. You can get close, but not exact. So Aave is a pretty good example, like liquidity pools and then also flash lending. So a liquidity pool is basically like, here's a bunch of money and then, uh, you basically are able to do stuff with that money in order to do so like be a market maker. So for example, like in the real world, uh, sorry, the legacy financial system, I would say, if you want to be a market maker, you basically provide your own funding. And then maybe there's a middleman in the middle who would like actually do the order filling for you or you do it yourself or whatever. But what's really cool is you can decentralize the lent, the liquidity pool where a bunch of people don't have to uh, be accredited investors or anything like that. They could just put money into this big fund and then anybody really can come be a market maker in the middle. And there's really no good analogy for that in the real world either. And also like flash lending, for example. Basically, this is a way to have a big liquidity pool like this where you, that you can borrow from as long as you pay it back instantly in a single transaction. And there's no good analogy for that in the real world either. It's basically brand new concepts that are created by uh, blockchain technology, right? So that's Aave. That's the, that's the protocol that I was mentioning here earlier about flash lending. So um, that's all I got for today, guys. Again, finance is something that's really important to understand if you want to become a blockchain developer. I know that it is challenging. Like I said, you know, it can be really overwhelming when you're trying to learn blockchain, you got to learn new programming languages like Solidity and JavaScript. And then you have to learn this entire domain of knowledge that you may not uh, be familiar with. All right. But that's okay. Like I said, remember, there's a tremendous upside to having this understanding. You know, you can get a really high paying job. You can create your own cryptocurrency. You can create your own decentralized exchange, DApp, whatever it is. This is really powerful knowledge. So I hope you like this video. If you want to learn more about this stuff, step by step, like I I said, I can show you how to do just that inside the blockchain developer bootcamp. I show you how to build a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. I teach you uh, the fundamentals of finance as you would need to understand in order to become a real world blockchain developer and build something like this. I highly recommend that you, you join that if you want to learn that step by step. You can uh, click the link down below. It's just over at daphneversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. Again, so that's all I got for today, guys. I uh, hope you like this video. You know, as always, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.